What's up, fellow goobers? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Sports Arena coin-operated arcade game by Sammy USA Corporation. The object of the game, guys, is really, really simple. All you have to do is stop the moving light on a red bulb and win the prize that's in that carousel. Now, this game is actually a lot harder than it uh, seems because this is actually like, I like to think of it as the uh, prequel to Stacker and uh, pretty much all of like the more modern games with the higher end prizes that we see today. Uh, this game was, I remember playing this when I was like 9, 10 years old. So this game is like very old, but it still had, you know, the ability to change the different prizes and the prize values and how the percentage payout and everything. I mean, this thing is insane. So I'm going to actually show you guys the different settings on this machine, what you can change, how they can change the payout percentages and everything. I'm going to show you guys an inside look. All right, so for those of you guys that aren't familiar with the game, I'm going to do a couple plays on it just to show you guys how it works if you've never played the game before. So I'm going to load it up with a few credits. And basically, uh, what's going to happen is this light's going to go around and you have to stop it on any red bulb. The red bulb corresponds to the different prizes in the game. So let's see if we can do it. And if you do it, you win that prize. Ah, see, I was one off from that red bulb, so I didn't win, but I'm going to get another play. Now, this, uh, this setting I have on here, the, the uh, bulb goes at different speeds. Most of them have it just at a constant speed. This makes it a little bit more challenging. The speeds go at random. Dang, I suck! All right, so if you win that, this is what happens. It dispenses the first prize on the carousel, and shebang. Uh, and then you just get your prize right here. In this case, it's just like a little water game thingy. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works, but uh, most of these machines don't have prizes that you can win this easy. And I'm gonna show you how they can change all the settings inside. You open up the coin door and then you see this little meter here. That's how many prizes have been dispensed. That's how many coins have been uh, in there. So like, if you look at the ratio, like, rip off. Well, if I'd read the manual, Dingleberry, you gotta hold this in for three seconds. Otherwise, it just gives you a free credit, which is like if you're testing out the machine and stuff like that, so. Okay, so now, uh, it doesn't look like much happened, but I'm gonna show you the display on top. All right, so now these numbers correspond to different things in the manual here. Uh, this is, this corresponds to the setting functions and then this is the value of the setting function. So for example, uh, we are on number one, which is the winnability function. So I'm gonna show you guys that right in the manual. There's 15 different settings, look at this. Hardest is zero. Uh, winner every play is 15. I've tried that and it's, it's really not winner every play. It, may, it must mean that it's skill based 100%. Uh, but if you miss it, I don't think it uh, gives you a prize, but it is possible if you are on, uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but uh, you guys get the dealio. Uh, but yeah, so in this case, we are on uh, section 01, which is the winnability function. We have ours on 13 right now, which is fairly easy. So that's, that's why I won in like three plays, guys. So. It's, uh, it's one of the easiest settings you can have on this machine, and according to the note, it says 13 is about 45% uh, or so. I don't know what that means, uh, if that makes it rigged, uh, you know, 45% of the time or 45% of the time you win. Uh, so basically how we advance here is the volume up and down. It's very, very easy. Uh, now number three is pretty important, that's the lamp speed, so we're in the section here. Uh, and mine is on six. So here's the lamp speed, and that's the, uh, how fast they, the uh, lights go around the game when you insert a coin and you're playing. Uh, so you can have it go on. So I actually have mine on six, which is uh, random fast, which is a combination of normal and fast. Now I haven't seen many machines set up this way. Usually they just leave it on number three, which is the default probably. I have never seen a uh, sports arena with a randomizer uh, like out in an actual arcade, but uh, I would say stick to machines, to be honest with you, that are just on the regular setting that don't have random speed up and speed down, because it's gonna be, you're gonna have a better chance at uh, winning in that case. There's all kind of other stuff in here, guys, you can change direction of the lamps, 
Uh, replay if the prize winning unit is empty, will the player get another turn? Just all this stuff, I mean, it's crazy, like free play. Now, uh, here's another important part right here, the prize value of each vending unit. This is, like I said, guys, very ahead of its time here, where, you know, you could set the different value of each section in this game. So, for example, I'm just gonna tilt up here. So I could have, say I have gift cards on this little rotating carousel thing. I can set the prize value, so see, for example, we have a $10 Giant Eagle gift card. Actually won that in red zone, yeah, still haven't even used it yet, it's been like six months. Um, but yeah, you can change it all the way up to, uh, look at this guys, the prize value can be anywhere from 25 cents to $20 prizes in here, like the value of the prize, it's pretty crazy. Uh, the default's $1.75. Um, so now I can change each different little Thing. So I can have this carousel be all $10 prizes. And then right above me, we got this little plastic chi cane. It's not even worth like 10 cents. I can have this carousel, you know, valued at maybe a quarter or 50 cents. So that's, that's like so unique in a game that's this old that you can change each individual one. Uh, and it's pretty neat because it's just like how Stacker and uh, Especially key masters today, you know, you can change the different rows individually. So like I said, this game is way ahead of its time. So here's the dealie. On this uh, prize value of each vending unit uh, section here that you can adjust, I'm not sure how this corresponds with the game. Like, I don't know if it, like, I'm not sure it would have to correspond to like the winnability section that we saw in number one. Uh, but it, the manual's not very clear on how adjusting these uh, prize value of each vending unit up or down uh, increases or decreases winnability. I'm not sure. So I don't know if anybody else owns these games or has knowledge on this setting. Feel free to comment below if you have any insight on that. Uh, again, I'm not really sure how the prize value uh, that you can adjust here for each vending unit uh, really makes a difference in the uh, gameplay. So yeah, <laughs> mind blown. All right, so everybody's probably curious about the winnability section out of all this thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, uh, we're gonna put this on 15 winner every play. And we're gonna see uh, what that does. Uh, so, um, so yeah, it's on 15 now, basically how to exit out of this. We just have to unplug the machine and then power it back on. And that should reset it, and we're gonna put a few credits in and see uh, how that winnability setting affects the game. All right, so it's loaded up with a few credits here. Now, the first one I'm gonna purposely miss, uh, and that is to see if that gives you a winner every time. Right, now, uh, that's the thing. That's what I was wondering. It says winner every time. Now, technically, if you set it on 15, I'm thinking it means the game is not rigged at all. So it's 100% skill. So if you miss it, you're a dingleberry. <laughs> In this case, I won. We got the prize on the uh, top right here. All right, so we're going to try for the gift card this time, which is a $10. Oh, see, I think it skipped over that time. I, I don't know about this play uh, winner every time bullcrap. I don't know. It seemed kind of rigor rude there. Let's try again. Now well, we won that one, of course. We won the cheap plastic bull crap. Can't win the good prize. But again, like I'm not sure exactly uh, how, you know, the winnability and the uh, the uh, value of each prize vending unit factor in t uh, together. Uh, it the, like I said, the manual doesn't really explain that. So if any of you guys have insight, that'd be sweet beans. Let's try for the gift card again. No, we won. So it might be 100% skill based, I don't know. But uh, the winner every play uh, definitely means uh, that it's on skill based. So, cause you saw me the first time I landed it like right in the middle here and I lost. Uh, so that doesn't mean if you put in, um, you know, 50 cents, you're gonna have a winner every play if some dingleberry comes up at like me and hits it right in the middle here. It's not gonna give them a prize. They still have to get it on the red thing. So uh, that makes it 100% skill. Let's try for the uh, let's try for the same one here. I know there's nothing left on there. See, it's thing it skipped over again, man. I don't know. <sighs> I smell bullcrap, and it's not my cat's litter box. Ah, uh, that was my fault that time. <laughs> Ow! Ah, oh, that's. 
crap skipped right over, I'm telling you. All right, guys, so that's it for the uh, Sports Arena arcade game demonstration. Uh, in case you're wondering, I got this off a guy here uh, in my local Pittsburgh area for uh, 225 bucks, which isn't too bad. Uh, but it does need some TLC. I mean, there's like some grime and crap in here. And if you wanted to put it on location, you'd probably have to clean it up. Uh, it does need a coin mech and locks. Again, if you wanted to put it on location. But in this case, it's just for home use. So I don't really need all the locks and stuff. But the game does function 100% as it should. All the carousels are in excellent shape. But I'm probably going to be getting rid of this game very soon because it's simply taking up too much space in my living, dining room, whatever room this is. Every room is literally probably a game room in my house, so I'm just going to call this the game room, even though it's the dining room. What? All right, guys, I'm going to do a couple more plays on Sports Arena. Thanks for watching. Press that like button. Subscribe for Claw Machine and Arcade Game videos every single week. <laughs> Come on, baby. Going for the flashlight. Oh, man, I want this. Look how cool that is, guys. It's like a LED little... That's probably hard to see, but... Come on, baby. Oh, see? That gets <laughs> rigged, man. I don't know. 100% win winnability in my arse. Try so you guys can see here. Oh, wow, that was... Jeez. Couldn't have been more off. See why I always, that's one of the tips there. That like that thing was moving a mile, hundred, like try, if you see a machine that has the random speeds like that, try to avoid it because it's definitely gonna be a lot harder to snag a prize even if it is 100% skill based. So if you guys are asking for any tips for this, that's one of them. See how it sped up real quick? So it's like really hard to determine like when, <laughs> when? When do I stop you? Oh, come on! Going this way now. Oh, you doober. It's probably the dumbest prize in here, but I'm trying to get it. And I find the corners to be di more difficult too. I actually like going for prizes that are this one, this one, like the, the ones that are in the middle here. So these four bulbs are a lot easier. The corner seems to be tougher just because it makes that edge. You have, you're able to time it better if the bulb's going in a straight line. Now, that's just my opinion, I don't know. So that might be like another little tip -a just to add on this. God! Freaking problem, man! You wanna go? Oh my God! Why can't I win? Oh, that is bull! Look! <laughs> Friggin' crap. Look, and now I win the flashlight. That don't make any sense. Wasn't even near the dang thing.